A lot of hard drills for six on six today, and we fought through them and did good. And had a lot of communication going. How do you grade yourself out after the first week and a couple matches that you played in? Like a letter grade? We'll start, yeah. Oh, sure. gosh. Um, I would give myself a B. Um, I think I have a lot to improve on, and I'm always working to improve. But I think I did a pretty good job, you know, first weekend. Mm -hmm pretty much as a Husker, so yeah, it was good. It was really fun. Were you, were nerves a factor at all for you being out there? Or? Um, I would say that first game I was a little bit nervous, but you kind of get those out during red-white. Um, and when you get into every game, it kind of just turns into like you and the team. And I think that's what's so great about our team is that if we do get nervous or, um, yeah, just getting nervous, we can just look to each other, so. So you talked about the service errors being a focus going in this weekend. For you personally, kind of how, how are you working on improving that? Um, I think the biggest thing is that we've been working on serving really tough. And what that means is just having like good flat hand contact. So kind of just going back to the basics with that. What are some of the specific things that you want to improve on? Um, I would say choices while setting would be a big thing. Um, Serving is one of them, so, yeah. You saw, I mean, what differences have you seen from Whitney from last year watching her to this year on the court too? What, how, what evolution and growth have you seen from her? Um, I think she, she's always been a really good competitor and that's been really evident um, for Whitney as a player on our team. But I think this year she has a lot of composure mm -hmm. and she doesn't let her emotions get the best of her. And that's so much growth for her and that's such a special characteristic to have in a teammate. So. What's it like for you to have a weapon like that on the right side, knowing that she can pound the ball if you need a kill, or just just have her out there to terminate something when you need one? Oh, for sure. Um, that is super awesome because Whitney's always going to bring a bunch of energy with everything she does. It's always super big, you know. Like she's never just hitting a ball and it goes <laughs> down. Like it's going straight down. Like her blocks are going straight down. So she's always an energy bringer. Um, always puts a smile on everyone's face. So that's she says awesome. you got the alter ego of being the assassin. You think that fits her? Oh yeah, I would say so. That makes a lot of sense. What's your alter ego? Oh geez. Um, I don't know if I have one. I don't remember <laughs> when we <laughs> talked about that, but I remember hers. You're the assassin? Yes. I mean, so. Yeah. I think coach gave her that maybe. I don't know who did. No, I know I'm putting you on the spot, but if you had to come up with an alter ego, is there a nickname that, or a name that you label yourself mm. as? You're still TBD. We had to do it. I know. We haven't, we haven't <laughs> talked about it really. Um, you know, I like a lot of coaches' horse references. He keeps talking about them, and I'm, I've really started to like horses and what they stand for, so maybe a horse. That'd be good. There we go. Really? Cool. What is your shirt? Oh, Wio Fio. It means with each other, for each other. It's like this theme that they had, I want to say in 2015, maybe. <laughs> How do you uh, compose your emotions? Um, I would say a big thing is that we work on a lot of that stuff over the summer and working with our sports psych, making good choices nutritionally, sleeping well, things like that just help a lot with being able to keep composure. Um, and then at the same time, your team and our coaches, they help so much in all the experience that we've had in playing in the national championship last year. It's really easy to trust your teammates and what they have to say with that. All good? Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you.